Mascot Towers was built on Botany Sands. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, I'm Florian Heiser and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. I've got my Stein of coffee and I thought we'd talk about Botany Sands. Now, I've been preparing another video looking at the neighbour of Mascot Towers and there's been a lot of talk in the media about, just say, groundwater issues. And preparing for my other video, I'm reading through a document which is part of the conditions to do with a, a judgment between the, the architects of the neighbouring building and local council. And in that, one thing jumped out at me. And also a lot of people have mentioned, talked about this, about, you know, the groundwater, um, mascots have been built on just, you know, industrial areas. And here, in this judgment, so uh, point nine, the following general terms of approval, and as may be amended by the Department of Primary Industries Water, have been imposed. An authorization shall be obtained for the taking for the take of groundwater as part of the activity. Groundwater shall not be pumped or extracted for any purpose other than the temporary construction dewatering at the site identified in the development application. The authorization shall be subject to a currency period of twelve months from the date of issue and shall be limited to the volume of groundwater taken identified. And this goes into much greater detail in the uh, judgment. And I'll talk about that in a separate video, but this perked my interest going, you know, I've only seen similar type of clauses with to do with contamination or at Brisbane Airport where there were, you know, we had to get scientific um, reports done, environmental management plans put in place just because of all of the contamination out there. And I thought I'd have learn a bit more about this. Frankly, that's what a lot of this channel is, me trying to figure out stuff and talk about things. So what are the restrictions? What's the area? And and this is it here. You've got the areas um, where there are prohibitions on taking of water. So in all these areas here, area one and area two. And this is, it's called the Botany Sands. It's a lot of the, the groundwater around Botany Bay. And is our little mascot tower project, is it located in this area? So I thought, you know, I'd, I'd bring up mascot here on Google Earth. You can see it here, I've pinned it near the airport up here. And then, you know, we'll zoom out. I've got the PDF here next to it, and you've got to play a bit of investigation really to to zoom in and see if they work. So we've got oh that's the problem here, I'm selecting this. But you've got mascot towers here, you've got the airport here, we've got uh, this main road that's going along the airport main road that's going along the airport and this one here that's coming up here and what what's the name of it um what is it o'reilly street o'roden street going up here okay and it breaks off into a v into a y so you can see here in this area we've got another main street coming here going down to that bridge which i'd say is this one here coming down and going here so Mascot Towers is, where is it? It's here, right about here. So it's definitely within the Botany Sands area. Now, why is that important? Why should we worry about that? Well, because the neighboring building, the neighboring building at some portions had three basement levels. Three basement levels that they were building under and you know, they were pumping out water temporarily did they have to put it back? What management processes do they have in place? A lot of that will come out in engineering assessment. But I thought it would be interesting just to learn a bit more about Botany Sands. And what I've done is I've got up the Botany Sands website. And we can have, have a read of it here. So, Botany Sands groundwater. Underground water in parts of the Botany Bay area is polluted. A ban on groundwater for use for domestic purposes has been in place here since 20, 2006. Don't take or use this water for drinking, cooking, filling, swimming pools, washing cars, watering household gardens, or other domestic purposes. Polluted groundwater may look and smell like clean water, but it's not safe. Residents in the area should use regular tap water in and around their homes. So here we go. What is groundwater? Groundwater is the water contained within rock and sediment below the ground surface. While it usually remains below the soil, groundwater can be pumped to the surface from holes drilled in the ground known as bores, wells, or spear points. 
It can also be uh, be reached during excavation and sometimes come to the sur- comes to the surface on its own, flowing out as natural springs or seeps. Groundwater levels rise and fall in wet and dry times, and you know groundwater has a significant impact on construction depending on where the areas that you are. Even in my little house here, groundwater affects Queenslanders. They move like anything depending on your soil, and then that affects how you have to design and construct your footings just as much as this guy here and the implications that it has as a smaller building. So, what is the Botany Sands Aquifier? The Botany Sands Aquifier is a layer of sand beneath the Botany Bay area a large amount of fresh water collects in and flows underground through the aquifier. Can I use water from it? Well, no, they can't. Residents cannot use this groundwater for any domestic purposes. Not surprising. Which areas are affected? And here they show the areas, and we looked at that on the map. How do I know if I have groundwater bore on my property? Uh, I'm not going to read through that. How did the pollution occur? We'll read through this because a lot of people have mentioned that, that mentioned this as an issue with regards to just all these apartments they're building up near the airport. Botany Bay Area has been home to industry for over a century. Before modern environmental protections were in place, tanneries, metal platers, service stations, landfills, dry cleaners, Wool scourers and other businesses operated across Botany Sands. Condamina- contamination from activities that escaped or would spill into the ground is likely to have re- leached into the groundwaters. The aquifer is particularly vulnerable to this kind of contamination because the sandy soil above it allows pollutants to pass through easily and the groundwater is often very close to the surface. Really sounds like ideal locations to build, doesn't it? I mean, nothing can be overcome without engineering solutions, but that presents additional challenges. As a result, chemicals such as chlorinated hydrocarbons and other solvents, petroleum hydrocarbons such as petrol and diesel, and some heavy metals such as chromium, nickel, lead, and arsenic have polluted groundwaters in parts of the aquifer. Boy, what is the New South Wales government doing? Um, so the New South Wales government are working together to manage the pollution across the Botany Sands area and possible health risks. Under New South Wales Environmental Protection Authority regulations, ORIC is uh, lending a clean-up of the most heavily polluted groundwater. So far, more than 1,300 tonnes of contaminants have been removed. So I thought we'd also look at just some historical images to get an understanding of kind of what happened in this area back then. And this is the, the, you know, these are fantastic, and I'll link to the, to the source of this. Um, so this is the Sydney Airport uh, from 1947, and we can see here. I'm just tr- looking at my, you know, the, here we go. Here's the road that we're talking about, and I think Mascot Towers would be about, about here, give or take, guys, about here. So I'll try and zoom in. This is the best resolution I could get. But I mean, come on, guys, it's 47 tech. You don't know how the kids now with Google Earth, you don't know how bloody spoiled you are, particularly studying architecture. You've got no idea, no idea, even just the Internet to be able to find this type of stuff. I used to have to when I went to Berlin for a university uh, trip, I bought a map of this, you know, pack of maps of the city cost me 100 euros. Looked awesome. So here we go. So, I mean, you can see here we've got some industrial factories and sheds. Does that look like farmland? I, I can't tell from that image. Maybe it looks kind of like fields. So that's 47. So we'll keep going down. I mean, look here. Look at the look at the, um, the river here. Got a bridge there, bridge there. Fantastic. And, you know, there's the airport. Look at the runway configuration. Because, guys, it's going to change over time. It's going to change. So we'll keep going down. And uh, here we go. What do we have here? We've got... This isn't my dot. Um... Okay, I think we're chopping off Mascot Towers. Yeah, it's up here as well. So, you know, much hasn't changed for them in 48. I mean, this is this, these images are focused on the airport, but it's the best thing we can get to give us an understanding. So, I mean, have a look at all the industrial over here. This is in 48. No, sorry, 49. All the industrial here. You know, Mascot still hasn't changed. You've got the sports field there. Some housing starting to encroach. But, I mean, you know, this is a heavy industrial area. Look all along the river here. Boom, boom, boom. Keep going. And now we're getting to 1950. 1950. And see still more industrial. More industrial up here. 
And here's our bridge, and here's our mascot site. See, nothing's happened. Oh, hang on. You can't see it. You can't see the mascot site. Wait, there it is. There's a mascot for you. So you can see what's happening in the 50s. So we'll zoom out again. We'll keep going now. We're going in the future, 1951. And I'll zoom out so you can see it. So we have the airport site here. And here is the mascot location. I mean, just look at all of the industrial area around here. Right near the aquifer. So they're obviously building it along the river for access to the waterways or traditionally access to that. Well, that's how the land was zoned. And I mean, you can see here we've got a few, a few things in this area. So the fact that it's been contaminated and it is an issue now till the next century isn't surprising. Here we go, 1952. I mean, still a whole heavy, it's densifying. The industry in this area is definitely densifying. You can see, see here. I mean, here we go. We've got some activity on, on the site that we're looking at. If you, you know, look at all that. Look at all that. I love these old aerial photos, to be honest. Just looking at the urban, um, permeability of a city and the, the different densities and uh, you know I wonder what your quality of life would be here compared to today here's the airport and there you go lots of work happening there and this is in 1953 and you can see you know the image quality is getting better isn't it we get nicer quality images the airport the runway there you can get bigger planes in 53 wow just see all this industry, all this industry. Back when Australia used to make things, guys. We don't need to worry about it now anymore. We don't make anything anymore. And this image is 69. So 1969. And I don't think Mascot makes it onto this one. It's further up. But you can see we've got more residential approaching near the near the airport. And here's a you know the airport area there. And they're back a house. We've got the runway built. Is that new? Yep, that's new. So they built the runway. The first one and then 1975 and mascot didn't make it there but you can see glimpses of just the industry up at that part so yes i think it's interesting to appreciate the fact that they're built on this aquifer that has had contamination from well from all the industry that's been there for over a century. And we've seen photographs of that industry in place. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if it has had any impact on the neighboring building or the engineering requirements, if they've adjusted the groundwater as they've suspected, or if they, yeah. I, I That's really just to give it a bit of an overview of what's happening here. Um, I mean, wow, look at all these areas. Look at all these areas, how it's changed in time. So guys, please let me know what you think like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again later. Bye for now.